Now, what do you actually do? Why were you chosen? Because from what we did with your workshop, we got um, all people from different races, religions, ethnicity together. You even had a poster. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Who paid for it? You know, I mean, the foundation is looking for funds. <laughs> Now, what were you doing? I'm the chairman of the Cumbria Mental Health Group in Furness. And we got together and we organised within my college to do a Mental Health Awareness Week. I'm 17 years of age, a musician. I'm a youth worker. For the year sevens in our school, we taught them about different cultures, different people, different religions. Well, actually, I did um, uh, an open forum, a discussion forum around family issues. So we wanted to see how best communities can talk and find solutions to some of these problems. I did the Conversation for Change project in 2009 and I was so inspired and you know, was able to do projects throughout the whole of 2010 in leadership with creativity. So that's what it has done for me and it's continued it's in, my, in my daily life. That's amazing. I mean, I, I, I do have to say, I think you are all inspiring, aren't you? Standing up, really standing up for good. Just listen to the stories of some, well not some, all of these uh, young people, they are young, uh, uh, in relation to me, I'm about to be 80. Uh, <laughs> actually, you know, it's, it's no exaggeration to say I am all odd. Almost all of the, the situations in which they are involved uh, are daunting. The eloquence with which they are able to describe uh, the projects in which they are engaged is just amazing. I, 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 wow, oh, <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> For goodness sake, those of you who got lolly invested in these uh, splendid young people. I found that one of the terms they, they like is, oh, it's awesome. Well, you guys are awesome. <laughs> I'll tell you the truth, when, when I came to the first initial meeting, I hadn't been out of the house in the, in the evening for over five years on my own. If he was still alive, I probably wouldn't be sitting here at this moment. I'd probably, probably be dead, actually. In my community, in Tottenham, in Haringey, there are major issues and problems that people face daily. Whenever we're in the newspapers, it's always in gang crime or someone got shot, someone got stabbed. And that's what I meant by bad press. We're never in something good for it. We're multicultural, we're very diverse, we have different religions. Archbishop Desmond Tutu is known all around the world, really, for the work that he does in peace uh, building, in mediation work, building communities. And so the Tutu Foundation is set up to continue his work. And we work particularly with communities in tension or in conflict around the UK. I was invited by the Tutu Foundation to take part in the Conversation for Change workshop. We have our flagship programme, which is called Conversations for Change. Conversations for Change. So Nelly and Zanani, we met from Conversation for Change. What I got from the workshop was a great affirmation of this working together. You know, it was an interesting one and inspiring. This real love and care for the community and for people. It was good, it was nice, it was a different experience for me because I'm not used to working with adults. The communication factor that everybody was feeling and thinking along the same lines and wanted to do something positive. Before this, I did have a little step, bit of a stereotypical view of a certain older people that they dislike, people like me. I discuss with key people who've already been, you know, helping families. So After talking to some of them, it's like, oh, they, they're just like me. Because this change was amazing. It was fantastic to, to, to watch what developed. As far as concrete impacts go from the Conversations for Change project, it's got to be this Mental Health Awareness Week and the fact that we plan to make it annual. We held different workshops, so everybody in our community um, was a lot to come. All generations, whether you're old, young, whether you're Christian, Muslim, whatever. Conversation for Change has given my work affirmation. Everybody can support and exchange and help each other for positive change. Don't talk about it, go out and do something. Don't sit on your backside. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.